Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel and I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. It is Herb Week. This is the letter R and I have chosen, of course, Rosemary. One of my absolute favorite things to work with. I've chosen it because it goes in so many different directions. Rosemary is known as one, not the only, but one of the oldest incenses in the world. And I burn Rosemary prior to spell work for cleansing and purifying my area. I use Rosemary either fresh a Rosemary oil or dried in my moon water. I use this to cleanse my hands prior to doing healing spells. I use uh, the water oil, what, whatever it is that, you, that you've made for yourself in uh, a cleansing bath for youthfulness. I think nothing of putting a a sprig of fresh rosemary up under my pillow at night to, to help with sleep. Absolutely. And rosemary is also an excellent substitute. And again, with, with the times that we're in now, you just can't run out and, and go and get this, that, and the other. But rosemary is an excellent substitute for frankincense. Uh, rosemary is wonderful, wonderful for love work, love spells, true love, lust, uh, of, of course. But another way that you can add rosemary to your love, lust, whatever kind of spell uh, that you are working is to kind of seal the deal, so to speak, is when you are cooking a fabulous steak dinner for your intended Cut a sprig of fresh rosemary, melt a bit of butter uh, in a saucepan, uh, take your rosemary and swirl it in the butter, brush it on the steak as it's grilled, and then once you serve the steak, place the rosemary by, the, by its side, and it makes for a wonderful additional note to uh, filet, and it makes a beautiful, beautiful presentation. So absolutely. Uh, another way that I use rosemary is in a blend. Uh, let's see, how can I call it's this really is not magical work. This is aromatherapy. I absolutely uh, <laughs> use this on days where I have this actually sitting by my office. And I now most of my clients are just wonderful, awesome people, but you know, you have, maybe you have a vendor that you don't particularly care to deal with or can be a challenge, or maybe the kids are kind of getting on your nerves or maybe your in-laws are getting on your nerves or, or whatever. But I, I like to call this banish the beast, <laughs> so to speak. And it's absolutely aromatherapy. If you suffer from rogue rage, get you a little plastic. Of course, I wouldn't put a glass container really in, in my car, but uh, get a little plastic container, put this in there. And if you, if you, you know, if traffic like it is here in Nashville from time to time, you hit the interstate and it's just a parking lot and you feel like, okay, you know, <laughs> okay. Just close your eyes and take in a nice deep breath. But I will absolutely give in the description box below, I will, of course, put everything down that I'm going to tell you now. I would not put fresh rosemary in this simply because I don't think it's going to go keep really well in a glass container. So dried rosemary, catnip, lavender buds, lavender oil. I make my own lavender oil a little bit of peppermint oil, just a little bit. You don't want to overpower it and, you know, 
uh, some sandalwood. I have red sandalwood, and that's what I have. If you have just regular sandalwood, go for it. Um, I put a little bit of ground cinnamon, and I put a little bit of cinnamon stick in that I just kind of break apart. Uh, the reason I put uh, the cinnamon stick broken apart is when you add your oils, you want something more than a powder to hold the oils. And then the last thing but not least is chamomile. Uh, again, I use as whole chamomile that I can and again this is to hold the oils and it's just it's just I will also add rose quartz chips or maybe if you're having a really bad time maybe one large rose quartz in there and just to give you know when you open it loving vibes but absolutely uh, keep it sealed up tight and there's really nothing magically that you have to do do with it. Of course, if you want to charge it on your altar, you just go right ahead. But this is absolutely something that is, you know, you guys know I keep black salt in my car. I keep a protection ball in my car. And this is another thing that, you know, should the occasion arise, I keep this uh, in my kitchen. I keep this by my working desk and on my working desk and in my car. Uh, one more thing that you can use rosemary for is rosemary shortbread cookies. Now, I, I have never made these cookies before, and certainly if you can read measure, mix, and throw it in the oven for 10 minutes, then you can make these cookies. I wasn't really quite sure. Now, I work a lot with different herbs in cooking. I wasn't really quite sure about the rosemary shortbread cookies, but as I've sat here and tried it, I wasn't really sure. And it's actually really good. <laughs> I didn't think, it, like I said, I didn't think I was going to like it, but, I, you know, you have to try things. They're not, they're absolutely not too sweet. I made the recipe up exactly like I found it. I probably, if I made these again, which I probably will, I probably would add a drop or two of vanilla extract. <clears throat> if you really want to brighten them up, instead of adding, oh, well, you know, logic, you know, you might say, oh, I'm throwing a little extra rosemary. Well, you don't want to do that. Um, but I probably, it, to brighten it up, I probably would uh, grate a little bit of lemon peel in there. Uh, and again, not a lot, because you don't want to turn them into lemon cookies. Because, <clears throat> believe me, there's not enough sugar in here to, <laughs> for too much lemon. Um, but I will absolutely drop the recipe below. It's easy, easy. It's something a little bit different. I think it would go really, really great with tea. And I just made these up this morning. And al although they are crisp, they are soft enough, you know, that... They're, e they're easy to eat. But I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video series. I've learned so much myself, and I've enjoyed doing it as well. And I also, you know, I love to share how uh, I work in my magic with you. So the next time you do some healing work, you know, wash your hands with a little bit of rosemary water. Take a rosemary bath, serve your loved one or your intended loved one a little bit of rosemary and some love work. And uh, if you have a fretful night, you know, put a little rosemary under your pillow and hopefully that will help. I want to thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. I absolutely appreciate it so much. Stay happy, 
stay healthy, and stay magical. Merry part, and I absolutely so hope to merry meet again. Goodbye, guys.